All right, hello and welcome to the channel. Uh, my name is Matt and welcome to F122. Uh, we are in Spa for our one shop. Good lord. We're in Spa for our one shot qualifying here, already doing absolutely horrible. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, also not sure why we're in a Red Bull when we have our own car livery and whatnot. And, uh, oh lord, help. <laughs> this is not going as well as I was hoping, but we try anyway. It is probably one of the latest recording sessions I've ever done here, uh, discounting our Civilization V session. Which will come out eventually on a different channel, but oh my goodness gracious. Holding on for dear life going through here. Stop on the brakes. Try not to over rev it, but then we'll come around here. Almost oversteer right into the wall there. This is probably going to be one of the worst qualifying laps I've ever put together here on Spa. Coming down the back straight, holding on for dear life, made that corner. Oh, I love F1 cars. Couldn't do that in GT3 car, absolutely could not be doing that. And then we've got second gear, fifth, sixth, and we're in 16th. <laughs> this is to no surprise whatsoever. <laughs> Oh, so this is our first online ever race of Formula One 2022, or more aptly, or more concisely, concisely, F122. Um, whenever I've tried the start before with the clutch and then getting the optimal revs and the whole rest of it, eh -eh, not been good. So we are going to attempt to see. Now we get an all right start. And away we go. First gear into second. Second into third. Oversteer quite badly coming out here. We're already down to 19th position. Honestly, kind of all right with it. Stay out of the way of absolutely everybody here. So we're up into 18th by just not crashing out and I'm like I said quite fine with that keeping our eyes peeled for all sorts of different types of accidents that could be coming our way of course we do have collisions off fortunately I don't feel like we're in the right gear though got a snap of overseer there coming out of turn five I can't remember Definitely needed to turn in a little bit harder there, a little bit sooner. Quite wide there. Going down to the fourth, up into the fifth, the sixth. So we're going to use our ERS here. Break a little bit here. We've got a yellow flag. We've got 19th position coming back up to make some gains here, of course. I would imagine that it's probably due to the fact that I am not doing so great. We go a little bit wide there, we let him on through. Unfortunately, with collisions off, he just kind of faces right on through, and I'm quite happy with that. Nope, and there they go. <laughs> Got another yellow flag, but then it's back to green. Going back onto the ERS here. 17th is a little bit laggy, a little bit glitchy. We go a little bit wide, probably, probably exceeding track limits there a little bit. We're going to go hard on the brakes. Down into second. Be careful on the exit there, as it is definitely not first gear. I don't think anywhere is a first gear kind of corner. Because you just have way too much wheel spin. We have snap over steer there. We got some more accidents here. We're going to turn on ERS once again. We're back to the green flag. We're going to go up Eau Rouge into Radion flat out. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Formula One cars are fantastic. And 
Good grief, Pico here in 14th is having some issues, so we're going to just kind of zip right on by them. We're going to break hard here. Pico's coming on up. Have a snap of bit of oversteer. Pico kind of goes through, literally through. <laughs> Temporarily up into what was that fifth gear, but that was a little bit too much there. It's a little bit more oversteer here on our soft tires break down to fourth. We've got all sorts of cars here. I would agree that it would be much more interesting if we have collisions, closer racing. You have to be worried about the positioning of the other vehicles when you want to take your uh, overtakes. But uh, I do not trust, first of all, myself, nor do I trust absolutely anybody else in this lobby here. Looks like our pack is really taking off here. We've got a moist plastic bag in the McLaren catching up to us in 18th. Again, we're going to take this area flat out. Looks like a couple of people did decide to lift off just slightly. We're going to go here down to second gear. Not slam on the throttle, kind of ease it. Have quite some bad, quite some bad oversteer ourselves here. And just really the, the tire degradation really feels bad these days. Uh, just some milk is in the Alfa Romeo. He's four seconds down. We're in 18th. Again, that's all right. The fairly new game, fairly competitive lobby. We're in eighth gear, probably a little bit too soon. Uh, so we're going to use the ERS to really get some extra boost out of here. We've got some yellow flags. And we have a little bit of a moment ourselves. Auto reset the track. They're going to dump us off in the middle of the curb, aren't they? Yes, they are. Thanks, guys. Just some milk is right behind us here. Still says that they're still somehow five seconds behind, but they're literally... You can basically see them in the mirror at this moment. So they're going to push slightly down the throttle. And brake, brake, brake. Some more safeties. It's just an absolute carnage fest of newbies like myself. And 17, 18 of your best friends who also are picking up a game for the first time. So let's use what little bit of ERS we have left down the back straight in eighth gear, going flat out. In the closing stages of lap three, hopefully we can make up some time here. Closing ERS, breaking, 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 breaking. Being very, very cautious here. Straight and true on the exit there. A 156.250. Horrible. Just, just horrible. There's no other way to cut it. It's just terrible. Using ERS once again to get a little bit of boost down the front straight, main straight. We're going to lift off slightly here. Decided to downshift just a little bit to see if it would give us a little bit better revs, a little bit better speed. It did not. Don't do that. <laughs> break, break, break down to fourth. Kind of feathering the throttle just a little bit there. Got some more safeties here, but we are catching up to the pack finally. Looks like the vast majority of the racers here are within this next 10 second period of time. So if we can catch up to the pack, we can have some more interesting racing. We've got a little bit of uh, oversteer that we're able to save there. We've got some more cautions going on. But I think we'll be all right. Break, break, break. Down to fourth. Lift off the throttle. Put it back down. Up in the sixth. The break down. We are getting close. We see them. We're going to go flat and then lift off a little bit. I lied. We are not going flat. <laughs> Coming back up to Pico. Pico is going to be our 
rival for the day, I suppose. Going to disable ERS because we are definitely not in DRS range. Broke a little bit early there. Careful of the throttle there. Some more. Oh. Looks like myself and the Williams, I, bu I believe. Of Girthy Wisdom. That is an interesting name, for sure. Might be able to catch up to them, so we're going to give it everything we've got for this last lap to see if we can get up into 18th. No, we are in 18th. To get out of 18th is more or less what I'm trying to say. Using some DRS, finally we are within one second. And then we close it right back up. Go back down to fourth gear. Very cautious on the throttle through that little chicane there up into seventh gear and then back down to third just a tiny bit of oversteer out of that exit there and once more there ERS into eighth gear stable the ERS back down to sixth gear we are trying everything we can to catch up to girthy wisdom A little bit of corner cutting, a little bit flat there, exceeding track limits. But we are one mistake from either failure or less failure. Because we can get our way up into 17th position, we can find ourselves feeling like we did something today, apart from fall off the track. Down to second gear, careful on the exit. Straight and true, fourth, fifth, sixth, and across the line. A massive disappointment for today. But this is only our first race, so might as well see what uh, what next what is next to come here. Looks like Robo Otter, if I saw the name correctly, was the race winner. One day I'll get there. It's not going to be tonight, that's for sure. Yeah.